welcome to the program. I am Deji Badimasi. Now, there's no question whatsoever that President Muhammadu Buhari has been able to a large extent deal with the Boko Haram insurgency and has indeed recorded remarkable success. But one security issue which seems to be a defined solution is the continuous clash between headers and farmers in some states in the country. Taraba, Adamawa, Plateau, and Benue states have all had their deadly experience of the crisis. And you know what? The problem is an age-long one that successive governments in this country, both military and civilian, have just not been able to address. Now, different experts have adduced various reasons as the cause of this persistent clashes between herders and farmers. And of course, various solutions have been proffered, but none seems to have worked. Today, the north central state of Benue is in the spotlight over the issue. The anti-grazing law of that state government has done little to douse the tension, while about 80,000 internally displaced persons are scattered in IDP camps located at Dauda, uh, Bajimba, Ustav, and Uba local government areas of the state. The Minister of Defense, Mansour Dan Ali, in his analysis of the situation, said the declaration of the anti-grazing laws and blockade of grazing routes is a major cause of uh, the continuous clashes now between herders and farmers. The minister said the use of social media, especially uh, in, in the spreading of uh, well, what he calls fake news about the situation in Benue and other parts of Nigeria, has also aggravated the situation. The real question is, what exactly is the root cause of the herders-farmers clash in Benue? Is it just a, a farmer's headers misunderstanding? Is it a religious crisis? Is it just an ethnic issue? Joining me now to discuss this issue further is a retired banker, Shehu Fadairo, who is uh, very vast on the issue of the headers and uh, farmer's clash and also has lived in the north of the country for a very long time. Uh, sir, thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Um, of course, you're not a security expert, and to be candid, one doesn't need to be a security expert to really understand this. I know you have lived in the North for a long time, and you've, you've actually had contacts with even some of these headers. I mean, you know, before now you were telling me about, you know, your work in the solid mineral sector and how you were able to come in contact with uh, some of these headers and all of that. From your own understanding, just what do you think is the problem? Thank you very much, but, um, DJ. Uh, well, I will t tell you one thing. I don't want to jump because I have some things to say before I took this. I've said it all. Most of this in this country is political. I will come back to it. But just to answer your, 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 your this and succinctly, most, most of them are political. Because I'm from Oyo State, though I live, uh, listen, I, uh, I attended, I'm from Fiditi, a village in the, in the, in the, in the, yeah, I, I, I attended the primary school there, the mission school, I attended Fiditi Grammar School, and I joined the bank, I write banking and all these things. The Fulanis, I want to ask any Nigerian, are Fulanis Nigerians? If the answer is yes, then what is good for the Ganda is good for it's going to be good for the goose. What have we done in this country? Okay, from my other that, that I come from, Ilora is very near for this. Okay, Ogo. From uh, Igora here, after Abekuta, yeah. you have the Fulanese in the forest up to Shinkafi in Sambara State. The same when you start from um, these people, Ochupa, down to Taraba and all these things, you have the Fulanis there. If you get to Ondo State, in the bush there, you have the Fulanis. In um, Kogi, you have the majority of people in the, in the, in the bush there, they are Fulanis. You see, and they have been living, their parents and parents and parents have been living in that environment for a long time. Now, there was something like this skirmishes in uh, Oyo before. Um, Fulanis, Fulanis um, got to cows. They are eating the farmers' crops. Farmers crops, and they was they were complaining and complaining and complaining. But well, the powers that be that time, 
federal district. And one paramount ruler in Oyo State that time was supporting the villains because you just collect money and give to them. They were killing, actually killing the people in Oyo Ogun. Up to this, a lot of people I'm talking about. At the end of the day, the people, uh, there's one other man in the world at that time, I only mentioned the name, but the one said, he said, he one, one, one time, based on that now. He had so much powers because he had the connection with the head of state. When they report this thing, they quench it. At the end of the day, people had to start. They took the laws. Into their hands. I wouldn't say into their hands because when you push me and push me, at the time I get to the world, I have to react. The people they reacted. That was this type of thing that's happening now. They reacted. They sent the full and away. And uh, because the government at that time failed to address the issue. The issue. Send the full and away. There was one particular incident that now caused the whole distance. They sent one full animal away from um, that area and they took, it went to um, Budesadu in Kuala, in Kuala State. Because that's where most of them went that time. But when he was going, he said that uh, because he was used to the people there, he was born and bred there, not this since, but when he was going, he hired a vehicle. So when they hired the vehicle to carry things and this to, to when they got there, they killed the driver, burned his motor, and everything. The report came back, and that was what escalated the whole thing that time. Nothing was done. They killed the Fulani man's uh, driver. He killed him. The, the driver, you know, it's not a Fulani driver, it's, a, it's an Oyo indigenous driver. Okay. They threw them with his own vehicle. With his own vehicle, and they killed him there. They killed him there, and burned his vehicle, and everything. Most of these things are not reported. Some are reported, some are distant. These are the type of things. Then, whether they believe it or don't believe, they believe it, I don't know. The Oyo people now, the Oyo style, Oyo um, North Okyogun, this Oyo I'm talking about in this instance, it divides the means that this uh, melon, it's not the, uh, the sweet melon, the, the melon for the, this um, Egusi. Yes. You know, you have what yes. we call bara. Yeah. You see melon, something. Yeah. Just that, uh -huh. like this. The, that, that, the pod. The pod. Mm -hmm. They now decided that, that they, they, uh, somebody told them that if you take a pod and throw at a cow, the second or third day the cow will, will die. Because they started using that one now. That was why then the full is now got, uh, went to say, okay, if you are killing our cows, we'll kill you. They acquired all these weapons and all these things. But at the end of the day, I think silence prevailed. And, uh, but it's the, the number is not as much as what used to be. What yeah. used to be filled. Because some of them are born there, bred, and all these things. But when, after Obuma show, there's a place we call uh, this thing, Iresadu. When we are going towards Kwara, that is the Baki. That's the rest, Fulani area. They are there. Nobody stands there where they have been there all lives. They marry, they do everything. See, that's, that's when I say politics is the most least in the, in, the, in the whole thing. If they were not, if the government did what it was supposed to do that time, then they have taken the action. That was, that was I mean, because okay. the writing wasn't done back then, people are, we're, we're having the repercussion now. They're having the distance. The writing was not done. But why, why I don't believe, I well, I don't listen. This, this, this one of uh, Benway. Benway now. It's around Kachinala, all these things, okay? Uh, some of the, a lot of people will take me on. It has Never. always been Benway, Benway, Benway. Yes, it's not Benway, 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 because... Okay, what about Zaki Biam? Was he Fulani? No, I mean... No, no, no. The security agencies have come out to say not Fulani. And, um, what is it, Odi? Was he Fulani? No, not, not at all. Was he? Oh, what, what is it? Whether you say it's military or this, is it on the police guard? So, these people have been living in Benway all the time. Ask anybody. I'm living in peace. I'm living in peace. So, suddenly. There's one, this, historically, even historically, the TV man, you know, we have TV, we have um, Idoma, and all these people. The TV are the most of them. Living in Makodi, Boko, 
uh, LAID and all these things. In, when we were in the north, in those days before the war, they used to call, they have nicknames for each of the tribes. They used to call TV Munchi. Munchi. What is the meaning of Munchi? We are fitting it. They said if the history had it that Fulani is, but they went back, they left their cows with the thieves, the thieves, because I have to call thieves, 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 TV. When they came back, they said that. Because the TV man doesn't speak fluent Hausa. He has his own language and all this, just like the Kanuri and all these things. I said, what about our cows? He said, Munchi. Munchi in Hausa simply means we have eaten. We have eaten them. We have eaten them. So you can know that it's not today's problem. It's not today's, it's, 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 it's historical. Are you getting me? Absolutely. This is historical. It's not just a, a one day build up. So, but because of the modern days, this, the, uh, what do you call it, the television, the um, this social media, all this and this and that. A lot of things have been uh, wrongly interpreted. As far as about three, 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 no, four years ago, one of my best friend's son, he, he, wrote his, he was his second, he was a lieutenant in the army in Lagos. Yeah. He was killed in cold blood. It wasn't, it wasn't like any of these things. It was between the Benue at that time. Because like that's why I mentioned, uh, mentioned uh, Zaki Biam. Mm. The time of Zaki Biam, it was not an internal something. Because that, yes, it is. So these are the things. Because a lot of things have been generated by the, by the politicians. I'm not a politician. But the politicians, they just twist things, they tell you this, they tell you that, they do this. So these are the things. You, you look at... Um the average herdsman you, you, you see out there, I mean, you, you just think, you know, this is just a simple individual who is just tending to his herds, tending to his cattle. Uh, but it appears at some point, um, you know, some of those herdsmen, no doubt, I mean, it's like at, at some point, criminality started coming in. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> any reasonable Nigerian will expect that question. And the answer, I wouldn't say it's a simple answer. The answer is this. I, told you, I asked earlier, um, are Fulani's Nigerians? If they're Nigerians, are they getting what they are supposed to get? Instead of a Fulani one before, the one that you are talking at this time, their children, they've had the the father is the head of the family. He has your children, male, male female, and other sisters. They have their heads of cattle. That's, where, that's their life. That is their life. They don't have any other thing. Both the father, the mother, the children, and those that are, that are growing up, it is from that cow, from, from that uh, head. Uh, Head of cows, that when if, if somebody is, the boy is mature enough to go and, have, to go and get married, okay, ten, take ten, ten cows, this one, so starting this thing, and go and set his own. And it's not building a house. It's not going, it's going to be in another bush, the bu thick, thick bush, to go and do this thing. But now, that, with the, with the situation in the country, even though not only in the country, with the situation in the world, these their young men are now getting wiser. So they're moving away from their culture. They're moving away from the culture. Because uh, when we were coming here now, I was, telling, I was discussing with my brother. I said, look, I am an illiterate when it comes to matter of this IT, what is call it? My two-year-old grandson, when he sees my, uh, my, he has his own iPad. He has his own, uh, when he, I tell you, don't, 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 he will do everything. But when you ask me, I don't know. So I'm an illiterate when it comes to that. Every person will be prepared to be a, 
If leader wants as aspect and a follower, another aspect. These they are boys. They are no longer going to tolerate being in the bush. No, they no longer stay in the bush. They cannot longer stay tending in the bush. Tending to cows alone. And even when they are tending to cows, how much does it bring them? They now drink beer, which they are not drinking before. They now carry women, which they are not drinking before. They come to the hotels. Lifestyle change. Lifetime and everything, everything has changed. And they have to fund. They have lifetime. to fund this thing. So they are not funding. Where are they going to get it? You see, we are not talking about that. Uh, uh, the, 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 um, what do you call it? Benway. What is happening between? If you have to travel between Katsina and Brindingwari on the old on the Brindingwari by Katsina Road, by the time you leave Katsina, up to from Katsina, then when you when you get to um, we are just a, a, a place they call Kuyoro. From that place to Old Biningwari, it's all bush. These Fulani boys are there now. What young, but younger, bright, smart people like you do is that they go into the bush, build, not, not fantastic system, just, just build the place up, get uh, generators, get this, uh, all these. Uh, Sports, this and this, and this thing, uh, all these uh, equipment, modern equipment, these uh, 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 Indian films, and all these things. And that's those small boys, that's where they live. And the Fulani boys, they leave their cows, they come there, they have to pay, they drink there, they carry women there, and everything. So, like I was saying, the money, the, the funding is a problem. So, like I was saying, when you are traveling from that building where this thing, in the night, God will save. Not only the now, it started long, long time ago. They roll this type of ice. I don't know how they roll it. Boulders. Boulders like this on the road. Immediately, they they start purchasing you. It's the same thing on Pambegua to Joss. You can't travel in that place in the night. I've been a victim sometimes. And like that of Pambegua Joss Road, it was all rocks. With this one, uh, this um, deep, deep values down. As if, if they push you there, that's, that's the end. If the car enters there, that's the end. That's where the full and boys operate. Okay. Um, we're going to take a short break now. When we come back, I, I want to get your own take on what, what you think could be the solution to, to this crisis. What happened in Benway? Quite terrible. What, how do we resolve this? Because that is the key issue. We'll take a short break now and uh, we'll be right back. On Deji360, we don't just ask the questions. What is wrong with amending the constitution the way uh, the, the National Assembly members have been doing it? We seek answers. Constitution is constituent. Our problem is not um, lack of laws. Our problem is lack of the willpower to implement our laws. Answers that provide clarity. While we negotiate, we should try to make it a point that the girls must be complete. The clarity you need to make informed judgment so that you can make the right decision and take action. People are saying it is you politicians that are responsible for this, that you are the reason why oh, this is happening. All these dollars that call themselves governors in this country? I wish we had people like Tony at the National Assembly. God forbid that I go to join that uh, DG 360. Providing clarity to issues. All right, welcome back. And I still have uh, Shehu Fadairo, a retired banker, here with me. Sir, um, the, the problem now is we, we know there's a problem. This problem has been there for a very long time. And, of course, you've, you've identified various dimensions of the problem. Of course, very interesting that, um, you know, that change in lifestyle is now forcing some of these, um, well, herdsmen now to, to resort to robbery just to sustain uh, their current lifestyle because if they were living that nomadic simple lifestyle I mean they probably would not be needing much but the moment you change your lifestyle definitely it, it requires money for you to sustain it and of course that could possibly be one of the reasons why that criminal uh, element has crept in but, but how do you think this issue can be resolved once and for all so that we have a situation where people can live in peace Thank you very much. You see, uh, to every problem, there's a solution. And you people that uh, learned used to say that the opinions, if opinion of 10,000 people, we don't matter. 
if they don't know the subject matter, you get that. We don't know the subject matter. The opinion of 10,000 people will not, will, not, will not be my, 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 my any material. You see, when Boko Haram started, I'm sorry to go into because we're going to be taking in isolation. When Boko Haram started, a lot of people in this country started saying, it is this one, it is that one, it is that. I remember there's one of these the, uh, politicians that were locked up for a long time. There was, the Muslims will say that uh, it's a Christian, the Christian will say it's the Muslim, this and this and this and this and that. Instead of live, just of doing, facing the problem and looking for solution, the Nigerian man is always trying to pass the buck. Look, this, uh, I wouldn't say this, it's very simple, but it's not, it's not undoable. Mm -hmm. First thing, this so called Mieti. Allah. Allah. Because to, to any race, any tribe, any this, you must, must have a leader. They have their own leader. And it's not this time that their leader will say, no, we are no, we are no longer, longer going to follow you. They have to. Even if it's only this time. So, if you call the military, they let their leader some reason. Then sit down. And seriously, on this time. You, the government, should be able to analyze that. The number of, if, uh, if you take poetry into consideration, if we are to be living on the old chicken, this, uh, the one that uh, yeah. a cockroach must climb before it has uh, eggs, and before it's eaten, how many eggs are we going to get? Yet. How many uh, chicken are we going to eat? But now, they have made chicken, I mean, chicken so easy. It's the feed that is the meal. This is the feed, the, 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 what do you call it? The, the one that, the layers. The layers they they yeah. don't need, they don't know which, uh, yes. to, uh, to, they don't to need meal ones to, yes, uh, exactly. uh, to, to this, mm -hmm. the, the eggs. The, uh, what do you call it? To, to, uh, the ones, uh, the, to, the, the, that is the one we eat on the table. That's the table egg. The one that lay, uh, that they, this is, I was informed in Jaws. They show us. It is just, if it's not any, you know, no, no other, uh, no, uh, no meal. We have to climb on it before it gets this thing. Then what about the cows? You have the cows. If you are serious about this thing now, like I said, if you are Nigerians, you have to do something to alleviate their own problems or solve their own this thing. So that even those boys that are becoming criminals now, if you, if you have your ranches within the area, I just, I just, you know, just, within an area, they have their own, their own ranches within the area, they can produce their own feed, they can do this thing, and the cows can grow quick. Well, it, it appears they are not, um, I mean, uh, the, the, the leadership, for instance, of Mieti Alan, it appears uh, quite a number of the herdsmen are actually not interested in this issue of uh, ranching. Uh, let's, let, me, let me tell you one thing. You see, we have, l have learned one, one thing in this country. We don't want to do things the easy way. Nobody wants to do this thing because of that money that... I'm coming to that. If, if I have to give time, I promise. That money that's been given the federal government for this and this and this and this and this and that. Nobody wants to do any serious work again. And the Mieti Allah, just like the trade union and all these things. You know, the trade union, this Pengasan, Pengasan, the other one. When Christmas is approaching, they find one way or the other, they're going, they're going to go on strike. The IP, IP man, the independence marketers, but during the Christmas, there have been no food in this country. There are solutions to, to, to those, but we have not taken the conditions seriously. I will come to it. So, what I'm saying is that. The media, they are like, not that they are not taking this seriously, but the, no, the government has not taken this seriously. Democracy is good, but there are some things that you cannot do with democracy in this part of the world yet. You have to bring them to the table. If you don't want your race to be injured, please. We have to talk on this and this and this and this and that. What did the government do? 
they gave them, I think, I don't know which one the president was around that time, this uh, nomadic education. We full animal that's going from one place to the other. Please, I, I'm coming. Mm. Uh, if full animal that's going from one place to the other, when there's, if there's no rain here today, he goes to the other place. When it's no rain, he goes to the other place. And that's why they put fire on farms. Because if full animal comes to this place and there's no this thing, the place is dry. You find you get to Ibada, to Ibada, to all this up to the north now. You see that set, they are set bushes on fire. It's not awful like this. But you, you, when, they, when you send fire and, and Bush on fire is told us they shoot, the green shoot will come out. You feel like you got to, you have to go and eat the shoot. So, I'm saying what I'm saying is about uh, the, the could, could it Could it be that the reason why they, they are not so keen on this issue of ranching is because it is difficult to change a people's lifestyle? That look, their nomadic lifestyle is, is, is their culture, so it's difficult. It's like you're asking them to change their culture. That is good, and that's what I'm saying. People's, people don't. Hate change, but they hate to be changed. They want to be. They don't want to be changed because they are. For now, those. I may be offending a lot of people. That doesn't matter. The majority of this thing, they have some advantage. They have personal advantages over 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 their their over followers. This. But when you look at the actual nomadic fulani in the bush, you pity him. Absolutely. So, what are we talking about? The government has to f use some force, make some laws. It's not, it's not, the, it's not the child play. You can't be in a place, a place that I was like, told that these people have been living with people up to today, no problem, no less, there's only some skirmishes. I told you about that, about your, mm. up to this and that. And that is, uh, you are not talking about Taraba and this. And this. So, you have to bring the Mayeti man of the people there. These are the laws. What is the, what is the, what is the, what is the essence of a uh, National Assembly? They just sit there. There are some things that are urgent. But the, the states are coming up with their own laws. Benway, for instance, came up with the anti grazing law. Uh, but. Uh, well, okay, the, the when it comes. The, the defense minister, for instance, believes. It's part of what led to, to, to Good. the latest crisis. And that's what I'm saying. If actually they believe in it, the minister will not come and say this, this and that. Okay. What I'm, if there's a law, a law that binds um, everybody, every Fulani man, every business, not only Fulani, anybody who wants to set up this thing that must, must have, you have your, your ranch. Uh, your ranch. They will know that's the standard. So when they are on the table, it's not a matter of this thing. These are the laws, the rules, regulations. They come, it's the law of the country. And those laws too must be very sensitive. Sensitive, sensitive. And, and, you know, accommodating. Accommodating. Accommodating, yes. So these are the things. So when you look at all these things put together, the music had like a no series, no. Because like I told you, the major alarm one is in uh, maybe Abuja, you have an office, but the full and man has nothing. Full and so, one of the solutions is training. The government must come out to train the youth, the full, not only full and youth, the youth of this country. We have been paying lip service. What happens to technical colleges of old? It was in the ABU, the IAR, they had this uh, Institute of Agriculture Research. These are uh, blocks that the cows eat on. They, they use, I think it's a mixture of salt, this and this, but they make it into, into big uh, this thing in those days. The villagers go there, they go and buy, and it says, whatever the time, nobody. The villagers has to come to the market from this bush to come and buy salt. So if they are telling you that salt is this, thing, the villagers because cows must eat salt. So you must train they are boys. You must train youth. Because some youth may say, okay, if, they, if I'm going to get money in that, in that thing, I'll go into it. Because like I said, I'd be watching. But, but, very quickly, because we, uh, we're actually yeah, running out of time. time. Uh, but very quickly now, um, there's another angle I just want you to speak on. The fact is that all the cattle we see on the road, 
whether we like it or not, most of these cattle are not owned by, the, by that Fulani boy or Fulani man you see herding the cattle. Some of them are actually owned by business people. Some of them are actually even owned by Yorubas, Igbos, who are business people. But they just recruit these boys to, to take care of, um, you know, the, the herds for them. And um, the question is, why is it difficult too for these business people to uh, provide um, a kind of ranch for their own cattle rather than employ a poor Fulani boy and probably give that Fulani boy 20 or 30,000 naira to just um, take the cattle out to feed? Yes, I would, I would just, yes, you are, you are right. The only thing is this. When you are traveling from here from Lagos to Abuja, we just thousands and thousands of cars. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. No cows. Okay, cars. Or cars on the road. This, um, when you, apart from uh, Kemarua, you get uh, buses, you get this, this. Are the drivers the owner? They are not. So, that's why I say make rules. If you make the law, the government must come out and stand out and say, look, this is what we want to do. Because I know that in the southwest, for instance, where uh, we are, uh -huh. um, you see uh, these herdsmen with, you know, hundreds of uh, cattle. Uh -huh. But we know that do, those, do, those cattle, I mean, do not belong to them. That we, we know, for instance, in the southwest that there are quite a number of uh, the people of the southwest, businessmen who who are involved in this business. Yes. But, but the question is, why are they not doing the right thing? And, and for some of them, they are the ones actually arming some of these guys. They provide them with guns just to protect the cattle. Because, yes. of course, naturally, sometimes you have cattle rustlers try, yes, try to rustle ah, cattle. They, have, they, 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 have, so, they have, have Exactly. And so you have these businessmen now providing these chaps with guns to protect uh, the cattle. Thank you, DG. They say where there's no rule, where there's, no, where there's no, no rule or something, there's no offense. That's true. Mm -hmm. The owners, the Southwesterners, or the not, 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 not just owners, or whoever he is, that owns the cattle, when there's the rule, he knows that he must abide by the rules. Otherwise, the, the, cat, uh, the, the cattle will be confiscated or whatever it is. And the, when they, put, when they uh, catch the full of neighborhood, they will say, ah, my guy is there. They will go and catch him. Don't you know the law? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. That is what I'm saying. The government must come out with something. And that is not the... Mm -hmm. If the if, 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 if time of Basanjo was there, was there no full of the skirmishes? Of course there were. It's just because... It's always been uh, there. Because Bwali is the... Uh, because he is full of so people He's full of mm -hmm. So... These are the things. Even when this thing started, I would like that one day, one of the so old politicians. He said that ah, we know who is financing uh, <laughs> the Fulani. Because the Fulani man is the president. No. He said that uh, Ajiku. But I Ajiku is the, is the is Paul Nongo said it. Because Atiku is a, is a Fulani, Fulani man. Atiku is a Fulani man, a uh, home Fulani. This is what Katu Fulani is, drawing Fulani. Is. No distance. It's not like somebody uh, 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 taking okay, call, call your boss a job or somebody to, to, uh, to, to question. When something happens, you do, you do any. So these are the things. You see, there must be that law. And that is the, it's the National Assembly, instead of doing things, things that are going to benefit, that are going to be beneficial to these things, they could have quenched all these things. Come out. You see, we used to, used to have one, one city. They say it's something of, um, that's that, that to quicken up. The whole thing. Let them come out. Let somebody say, okay, this, this, these are the rules. If the rules, the president will not, will, will not refuse to sign the, uh, to assent to the, to, to the, to the bill. To the bill. They have to put the bill be, before the, 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 the president. And once it's signed, it becomes law. No. Whoever you are. So, this is my one little All right. thing. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shiro Fadaro, for coming mm -hmm. on the program. And thank you very much for sharing from your wealth of experience with us. I mean, um, but let's just hope this issue is resolved and uh, that people just go on to live in peace. That's, that's what we all pray for. Thank you very much. Thank you so coming. much. All right, we'll take a short break and uh, when we come back, I'll be speaking to someone else on the same issue. On DG360, we don't just ask the questions. What is wrong with amending the constitution the way uh, the, the National Assembly members have been doing it? We seek answers. The constitution is constituent. Our problem is not um, lack of laws. 
Our problem is lack of the willpower to implement our laws. Answers that provide clarity. While we negotiate, we should try to make it a point that the girls must complete. The clarity you need to make informed judgment so that you can make the right decision and take action. People are saying it is you politicians that are responsible for this, that you are the reason oh, why this is happening. All these dollars that call themselves governors in this country? I wish we had people like Tony at the National Assembly. God forbid that I go to join that team. Uh, Why not? Digi360. Providing clarity to issues.